With the Kaseya breach this month, there have been a lot of discussions about the vulnerability of RMM tools and the risk to managed IT service providers. Is it time for a pivot? Give me two minutes to look at some questions we might consider. Hi, my name is Eric Anthony, and I've been in this industry since 1986. Yeah, I'm that old. On this channel and in our Facebook group called All Things MSP, we discuss the business side of being an IT services provider. If you want more content like this, please like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to be notified when I post new videos. After the video, head over to Facebook and join the group. The link is down in the description. There's been a lot of discussion this past week regarding RMM and its importance to the MSP and the risk. There have been webinars and podcasts about whether an MSP even needs an RMM tool. I'll link to those resources below, but even if you don't agree with their premise, I urge you to hear their arguments. They are compelling. I've seen many pivots in this industry since 1986. I personally transitioned from consultant to systems integrator to service provider over only a decade and a half. Each time an outside force became apparent, I had to ask myself some important questions to decide if I needed to pivot. Question number one, is there a significant change coming? Like the lowering of hardware margins in the late 90s and early 2000s was significant to system integrators and VARs, I think the new security risks and compliance requirements are going to change this industry over the next five years. Question number two, how is that change going to affect my business? This is where you quantify how the change will affect your costs, service offerings, and specifically in this case, your risk. Question number three, what results do my clients need? Take a business first approach to this. Many MSPs start with their tools because that's where we've been told to start. If those tools now represent a greater risk than they did just a few years ago, I think it's valid to ask if we still need those tools to drive the results our clients need. CISA predicted this risk to MSPs back in 2018, and we've seen it in action over the past three years with multiple MSP-specific breaches. Question number four, do the results my clients need require tools to deliver, and what are those tools? As Dave Sobel from the Business of Tech pointed out in his podcast, Patching is now more reliable than ever through the operating system and applications themselves. Do we need to have the granular control of patching that RMM provides? What about the verification of patching through monitoring? I personally think that automation can drive large efficiencies in IT services, but so few providers use enough automation to make a difference. That's why I'm not sure it's worth the risk. Now, a quick question to my vendor friends. Is there a tool that doesn't require the system level permissions of an RMM, but delivers the results MSPs need to monitor and manage the IT systems of their clients? There may be an opportunity there. I don't consider it my place to tell you if you should dump your RMM. I do believe that I should inform you that changes are coming. Things are not the same as they were 10 years ago. They are changing quickly. I think you need to ask yourself these questions and decide where your business needs to pivot to meet the needs of your clients over the next five to 10 years. Don't forget, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you didn't, go ahead and smash that dislike button, but please do me the favor of commenting and letting me know why. Click subscribe and ring the bell to make sure you get notified when I post new videos, and I'll see you in that next video or in the Facebook group.